Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I am still upgrading this server up here. This is the IBM slash Lenovo X3650 Model 1. It's my favorite server um, so far. I have a lot of favorite server. The X3650 Model Range is my favorite model of server. But this one is my favorite of those models. But it's getting, um, well, it, it's, it's not the newest server of the bunch. But, um, I'm doing a project for my Patreon uh, subscribers where I want to be able to um, give Patreons a virtual machine to play with up on this server. And to do that, it needs some more RAM. Right now it has 24 gigabytes of RAM and for very many people to go on there, well, I'm going to run dry very, very fast. I have 48 gigabytes of RAM, which is double, so uh, that should last a bit longer than 24 so we're gonna be putting that in and uh, also I have a, a network card the server has two network ports uh, two um, one gigabit and this is a network card with another four one gigabit network interfaces and as this server is kind of a storage server and it might be so that some of the other servers, when uh, when sometimes in the future they're gonna be used, it would be nice for that top server to be able to communicate with the next servers faster than just one gigabit. Uh, I could put in a 10 gigabit Ethernet card, but well, that would just be a bit overkill, I think. I don't think it's gonna be that widely used, but um, we're gonna put this in just to have it sitting around for a rainy day. So uh, let's get to it. I'll have to shut this down because it's running right now. This is really probably the worst server to actually uh, do this to because it's so hard to film up here. Okay, I actually have a number of videos where I upgrade these servers with more RAM and try to fix RAM problems. Um, to get this up to the maximum amount of RAM, I have to put in four gigabyte blocks in all of the blocks. Right now, I see this one is already a four gigabyte block. So there might be some of the other ones that are also, well, over here is also a four gigabyte block. And there is probably some two gigabyte blocks as well. So I'll take out everything that is not four gigabyte blocks and I'll put in the RAM that I put down there for now. So I'll probably put that up there again so that I can reach it. I took out four. Uh, blocks of two gigabytes each um, This server takes memory blocks in pairs so uh, A pair they have to be alike and um, Then you can put them in and this server it, it uses where was it? Yeah, this is a Kingston, but PC 2 5300 F 555 something and it's a uh, 1.8 volts so, those um, I took out, uh, these I have prepared to put in with the amount of memory that was already in there. It didn't need uh, these four, it, it is already full. Then we have the network card and the network card goes into the riser card. And this is the riser card um, with the metal on top of it. And actually over here is the order in which the memory goes in if you uh, would ever need that. Uh, now that I'm filling it up, putting everything in, there is not much to it, but I have to put them in in pairs still. So it's not just putting them in from one end to another, because then uh, they're not alike uh, pairs, and that could give me a lot of problems. The pairs might not be 100% alike, and therefore they have to go in in that specific order. But back to the riser card. This server has a riser card that enables you to put in a PCI Express card here. And on the other side, you're able to put in another one. And this looks like this on the back of the server. So you have one card here and you have another card here. And it actually says here that they are PCI Express X8 and it can supply 25 watts for them. And the same thing is over here. So I'm going to be putting the card in 
Let's see, this turns out this way. So I want the card over here. I don't know why, but that's... Had to pick something, right? So we'll put that in. There, and I need to see if I can find a cover piece for that. Have some of these cover things to put on. These things are the ones that comes original with IBM server, so let's use one of these. Put that in, like that. And this is ready to go back on, and I will have additional four one gigabit ethernet ports coming out the back. Awesome. I kind of have a problem here. Let's just zoom out a bit. Um, the server goes in, of course, but on the back here, I have a switch, uh, the switch that these are going into, and that is hanging because it's not mounted on the back side. And what I found is that uh, if I use this plastic board that I have here and just put that in here, I can slide the server in under that and pull the plastic thing out again. And that should be good like that hmm. I don't know why switches are put up like that I, I think it's pretty bad design actually so uh, I don't know if this will work the first time usually there is a bad pair and I have to get it out again so I don't think I want to put in all the plugs to, to start with I'll just give it some power and a screen and let's see what happens okay turn it on And let's see what the screen comes up with when it's uh, ready for us. Whoa! Memory size has changed. Yes, I'm aware of that. It actually said that there was 49 gigabytes of RAM. So maybe I'll, maybe this is just a lucky day. It will actually show that. Uh, let's see. Um, when it's done with this, I think that it will come and tell me if there's any memory errors. Okay, there was nothing. Oh, no, that's okay. I don't think this is part of that. Let's see if it boots. Okay, it came up and uh, complained about the memory uh, size has changed. So let's go in and see that. If it um, wants us to check that. System summary. It sees 48. Can't do anything about it. So advanced options, memory settings. Yeah, it's it sees the pairs here, the memory speed. Uh, that's the maximum this server can um, can run the memory at. So that's that's all good. Okay, this um, should be good. So let's just oh save settings and exit. Uh, and now I hope it will be booting. Okay, just when I thought this was just gonna be a walk in the park and everything was working the first time. Uh, no, it just dropped down to 45 gigabytes of memory. Which means that one of these pairs is um, missing 2 gigabytes on each block. I think, yeah, that, that must be right. So one of these pairs are only being seen as two gigabyte blocks that's an error and I'll, yeah i have to take it apart again and and check out all the memory take all of it out and put all of it back in and see if uh, that helps any bam okay after taking everything apart again it now sees 48 gigabytes of memory again so let's see how long that uh, lasts and uh, memory has changed so i have to go into the bias and well, I'll do that, see if we can boot with the 48 gigabytes of memory. I'll be back when that is working. This server keeps teasing me with the memory. It says that the memory is okay, um, 38 gigabytes, and um, I have to go into the BIOS and, and click OK for that. And when I do that and boot, it comes out again and says that the memory has changed, and then there's only 45 gigabytes, 44 gigabytes of memory, and well, I've been doing that a couple of times, so now I've actually I've prepared so the server um, has its cables out here so that I don't have to put it back into the rack and connect cables and go forth and back. There's not a lot of room back there, 
people do ask me why I, um, I don't use cable management arms on my server. There's just not enough space for it back there. But um, well, I've just um, changed the RAM configuration once again. I took out four blocks there up here. Uh, one and four, seven and ten, which is the first four memory blocks to put in the server. I've exchanged those with the four blocks that I had on the well, I had them down here somewhere. So um, I'm gonna try and see if that helped. And I'm gonna plug in the cable that I've now um, taken out from the back. Over here, I have a, I've mounted a switch here, this one, so that I can turn on, on and off the server easily without unplugging it. That goes up to a cable that um, goes out into three individual these uh, are these C13 or C14? I forget. Uh, uh, need some help? Uh, it doesn't say. Okay, but it goes out into three of those, which is really smart. I could do with just four on this project, but well, yeah. Let's see how this goes. Just plugged in the screen and the keyboard over here. So now we're gonna turn the switch there and the server turns on so let's just power it up yeah. and we'll wait and see what the screen says okay. it, it has uh, noted that the memory size has changed so let's see uh, if this went up or down so let's go check that out system information yeah right now it's uh, sees the right amount of memory so let's um, save settings and go exit setup see if it um, remembers that and now it's down to 45 gigabytes again so if that didn't help I'm gonna turn it off right away Okay. I now um, I turned off the server and I changed out the next two pair of memory. I have the the spares laying up here for blocks. So I'm changing four of a time. So hopefully this time or the next time I will be sure of where the error is. Um, this is a lot easier when I don't have to go around the back and connect cables and stuff. Okay, it sees 48 gigabytes again. Let's see if that lasts. It did last. Okay, so apparently I might have found the error. It was in the second pair of... Do I want to seek this out further? Nah, if it works, it works. I'll figure this out the next time I need to upgrade. I'll, uh, I'll mark these four and uh, remind myself that something is wrong with at least one of them. Okay, mission completed. It has now booted ESXi 6.00 uh, I found this was the U2 version, so that is all good, but yeah, there is no bug, so I'm ready to reinstall that. I want to install 6.5 here, don't know if I'm gonna film that, so well, that uh, took quite a while. Okay, that took way too long, upgrade that with more memory and a network card. One of these four blocks over here is clearly not as good as the other blocks that's a nice way to say that but well i'll probably find the bad block when i upgrade the next server down here might also want 48 gigabytes in that one this project is all about giving a small virtual machine to my patreon subscribers so that they kind of get something for um, their hard-earned money i don't expect it to be like production servers but well who knows what they want to use it for but I released the first video in that series yesterday where I exchanged a NAS server over here. It's already uh, not there anymore. It's um, in the winter garden getting ready for sale. Actually, it is ready for sale. Hopefully it is, has been sold before you get this. But that video came up yesterday and, and that has, has now resulted in 26 new Patreon subscribers. So. Thank you very much for joining me over at Patreon. Awesome, thank you guys.
My plan is to keep you updated when I upgrade the servers for the, this Patreon project and I hope that the donations that comes into Patreon will kind of cover that expense upgrading servers and building the array of servers available for the Patreon subscribers so um, but well thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye